What's up guys, it's Theo with another Stay Hot Shot here today to talk about the tight end Kyle Pitts. Now, Kyle Pitts is one of my favorite players in the league right now. He was my number one prospect on my big board for this year's draft. And I wanna talk about a couple of things that make him so good and what we can expect from his rookie season. Well, no. It's going to be a scary season. The next great NFL tight end is being hailed as perhaps the best prospect ever. I love you, Kyle Pitts. I want a Kyle Pitts jersey. I want a fat head of Kyle Pitts. And this Pitts. guy is a matchup nightmare. Now, I watched a bunch of Florida film for this draft cycle because of Kyle Trask, Kadarius Toney, some of their offensive linemen, and Kyle Pitts himself. And whenever I was watching Florida or any team really playing Florida, like Jamin Davis playing the Florida game for Kentucky's defense, anytime I was watching Florida in any capacity, it was hard not to get distracted by Kyle Pitts making some spectacular catch, whether that be mossing Patrick Sertan and two other Alabama defenders in the end zone, whether that be breaking off long yards after catch runs or mossing people like he did in the Ole Miss game. Just everywhere on the film, there are highlight plays that no one else in this tight end class or really any other tight end class is making. I think he was well worth the fourth overall pick. And although there were some criticisms about his blocking, I don't even think he's all that bad there either. He's just merely okay at it. Although maybe in the NFL that will downgrade a little bit to bad. But you don't draft a player fourth overall to be a blocking tight end. You, you draft him to be a spectacular receiving threat, a centerpiece in the offense. And I really do believe that's what Kyle Pitts can be. That being said, the last tight end to have over a thousand yards in their rookie season was Mike Ditka in 1961. It's a really hard position to learn and adjust to to the NFL level. You have to be a tackle with your blocking and a wide receiver with your receiving. It's one of the hardest jobs to do in the NFL. And maybe some of the hype on Kyle Pitts is a little bit too high just because although he's such a generational prospect, it's just so rare to see tight ends come in and have this instant success. Um, so do I think Kyle Pitts will buck that trend and be one of those hyper productive guys right away like you see out of some of these rookie wide receivers? I don't know, but I think if anyone could do it, it's him. To get over a thousand yards, uh, you only need to be hitting about 59 yards per game. And I think that that's pretty realistic for Kyle Pitts. I think that he can have a couple games over 100 yards. And then after that, you know, you can you can live with a few duds. And, you know, 59 yards per game is doable, in my opinion, for him. I think that he will become the first tight end since, since the 1960s to hit that 1,000-yard mark now that the 17-game season is in effect here. I think that he may be a guy with double-digit touchdowns as well. I look at him in the red zone and his catch radius and his route running and his size. He might be a better red zone threat than Julio Jones ever was. Um, not saying he's better than Julio Jones or anything, but in the red zone, could very well be. And that Arthur Smith uh, offense loves to target tight ends. Johnny Smith had a big touchdown year last year. Um, I think that he's going to surpass what we've seen from other rookie tight ends because he is unlike any prospect that I can remember from the last you know, decade, as long as I've been paying attention, that's for sure. Some of the things that could hinder him obviously would be injuries, but he's not really a, an injury prone player. That's not something that he's really had to deal with or bad quarterback play, but I don't think Matt Ryan is a bad quarterback. And I think especially with Arthur Smith kind of implementing that more play action type of scheme that he thrived with under Kyle Shanahan. I really think that Matt Ryan could even become a very much above average top 10 quarterback again this year. Um, and Kyle Pitts would be a big part of that. And I feel like he's a little bit more of a Jimmy Graham type slot receiver that, you know, won't have to learn maybe or won't have to deal with some of the things that's hindered other rookie tight ends. I don't know. I just really like the player. I really like the potential. I really like the fit. Um, I am really excited to watch him play. And I think that he can be the best rookie tight end that we've that any of us have maybe ever seen. Even though he's never played a snap, I still think Kyle Pitts is you know, maybe a top five tight end in the league right now. I would take him over pretty much anyone not named Waller, Kelsey, or Kittle. So those are just my thoughts on him. I had a great time breaking them down. That'll do it for this episode. Be sure to like, review, subscribe, all those good things. And we will see you next time with another Stay Hot Shot.